Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I want to show you how to do this pinwheel tower card. Um, you know, I've made several of these and I've just thought, oh, I need to do a blog post and I've been afraid to and so I finally decided okay I'm biting the bullet and I'm gonna do this post so I'm gonna show you today how to decide what measurements you need and um, the different sizes that you can make I'm gonna talk about a standard four and a quarter by five and a half card and a five by seven card and those sizes um, but the same formula for determining what size you cut the cardstock will work for a slimline card or for a 5x5 five five card or for anything at all, any kind of card that you're going to do. It's just really simple, the formula, and hopefully um, it will make sense. And you can also go out to my coordinating blog, blog post and there'll be a link right below this YouTube video. And on there, I'm going to have all the measurements for the five by seven, which is this size. And I'm going to have the measurements for the um, four and a quarter by five and a half card, which is this size. Okay. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how you determine what size you're going to make this and the components of the card so for the well I guess I could show you the card first <laughs> so this is the card we're going to be making I'm going to do it in a different color but it's exactly the same card and this is this particular card I used a lot of stamp sets because I wanted lots of different sentiments um, and I used um, a different scent stamp because I wanted to stamp some trees but the basic stamp set that I'm using is the Penguin Place Bundle. And that's in the new holiday catalog by Stampin' Up. And so it's this set. And it's, um, I've had the punch here. <laughs> okay, where did I, oh, here it is. Lose things so quickly. And I'll just show you the back side because it's easier. And then this is the coordinating punch that goes with this stamp set. And then the designer series paper that I'm using is the, um, it's called the Penguin Playmates designer series paper, and it is a celebration item that you can get. Um, if you uh, place a $50 item, a $50 order with Stampin' Up, then you can, that qualifies you for a free gift choice from our current um, celebration catalog. And the catalog runs through the 30th of September of 2021. And so this is the holiday catalog that we're talking about. And let me show you the Penguin Bundle. That's on page 33. So this is the Penguin Bundle. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. How can you just not love this guy? What a face! I mean, really, just what a face. And then the designer series paper that you can pick out of the celebration catalog is right here. And this is a free item with a $50 purchase. And so it's just awesome. And there'll be a link um, to my store. Uh, also right below the video um, and you can see that it's right, right here it's just kathleenstamps.com backslash shop and you can go out to my Stampin Up store and you can get all of these fun fun items so that you can make your own tow pinwheel tower card okay so this is our first page we start with uh, friends like you make the season special and you get this really cute polar bear and right behind them are these great wonderful snowflakes they're also in the holiday catalog and then we go to it's the most wonderful time of year isn't that fox cute i fussy cut him right out of that same designer series paper then our next step is let's celebrate and there's all the penguins surrounded by presents getting ready to celebrate the holidays and finally merry christmas with the cute cute little penguin and 
with this great little scarf on him. And Merry Christmas. And so this gives you lots of area where you can write your sentiment. And so that's how the card works. And when it stands up, there's your pin, or here's your pinwheel, and there's your tower. Okay, so a pinwheel tower card consists of the, um, the card pieces that you attach all of your items to. Like here's one of the card pieces, okay? And it consists of a tower. So how you determine what size you want to do. And today we're going to talk about the five by seven card. So what you do is you take the height of your card or the five by seven and you divide the seven in half. So you get three and a half, three and a half and three and a half makes seven. So here would be your seven inches. So a five by seven card is going to be this size right there. And so that's all that you have to remember. It's the same as if you're going to do a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. The four and a quarter is the height and the five and a half is divided in half. So each one of these little card panels that we're going to put on are two and three quarters. And that's, that's as complicated as it is. And what I did when I was first learning how to make one, because you know, it was kind of overwhelming initially. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't figure out how to do this. I took some, <coughs> excuse me, some designer series paper and, or excuse me, some um, of the wrapping that the, um, that our designer series paper comes in, that cardboard pieces, and I just made one. And so then I could play with this and I could figure out what the heck was going on. So this is my five by seven one. And then this is my four and a quarter by five and a half. And amazingly, you think, oh, that's not gonna fit into an envelope. But here's a standard A2 envelope with four, four and a quarter, five and a half. And look at that, fits right in there. Hard to see a white on white, so we'll put this little guy. Look at that, fits right in perfectly. And then if you have a five by seven envelope, here you go. You think, oh my gosh, it's not going to fit in there, but look at that. Fits perfectly. So remember the smaller measurement, which is the five in five by half by seven. Five is the height, and the seven is cut in half, and so each one of these are three and a half inches long. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get started. So what you have to have is you have to have the tower part. And I make my tower parts uh, because it's easier for me. They are all four and a half inches wide. The height is five and it's four and a half inches wide, okay? And what you're gonna do is this is what they're gonna see on the inside of the tower. And I make my towers out of our decorative or our designer series paper, our DSP, um, because it added a lot less bulk to the card by using designer series paper. You can make it out of cardstock, no problem. It's just going to make your card a little bulkier. See how flat this one will lay down? See there's just no bulk there. Where if you use cardstock, it's just going to be a little thicker, but you can use whatever you have. So the easiest thing to do is I put this in my scoring, my paper cutter and I scored it at one inch. So it's scored at one, two, three, four, and then I have this half an inch left over and that's where I'm gonna put my adhesive. So now you're saying, okay, how does this work out? So, cause you want this adhesive to stick on here. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my silicone mat because I'm gonna go off of this a little bit and I'm gonna use my stamp and seal and hopefully today it will cooperate and work. And is it working right now? Oh my gosh, it's just not working at all. Oh, there we go. Why is this just not working? Oh, there we go. Okay, duh. So we're gonna just put our adhesive on here. And you wanna make sure that the adhesive goes edge to edge because it's going to be opened and played with quite a little bit. So then all you're going to do is you lay this flat 
and you just close this flap over and then press it down really good and tight and there's your tower that's all there is to it okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to put on the wings of the card so I'm going to use Tombow because it are uh, multi-purpose glue because it's going to give me um, a lot of um, it's going to give me some slip time which I really need so that I want to make sure that I get this on here and um, you know I if I put it on it doesn't come out perfectly the first time it gives me a little bit of time that I can move things around it's one of the reasons I love this glue so I'm going to put this this way okay so this is the panel that I have my adhesive on and then all you're going to do is lay your cardstock wing so that it goes from edge to edge and it's on here nice and straight and then you're just going to push it down and make sure that it's down nice and tight and then you just spin this to the next edge and we're going to do this again And push it down make sure that it's on nice and straight and then we're gonna open it up to the next area and put our adhesive down again now you could use your favorite adhesive to do this um, but I just know my limitations and I don't always get my cardstock on perfectly to begin with and um, so by using the Tombow it gives me a little bit of time that I can kind of move things around and then I won't have any problem so we're going to get ready to put on our last panel and you can see this is just pretty darn easy It just looks complicated because you've got so many parts and pieces. Okay. All right. So there is our tower. Now I'm just going to let that sit for just a second so that I'm sure that the adhesive is set. Okay. And there you go. And now it doesn't matter which one you start with you can just start anywhere you want and what I have done is because there's so much on here that is stamped and there's die cutting that has to be done um, I've done all of the stamping ahead of time I don't think I've ever done that on a video but what I did is I stamped everything ahead of time and then um, we're just gonna assemble the card with all of the pieces that I've put together so what I've got here is um, and then I also have my designer series paper that goes on each panel and the panel the designer series paper that would go on the larger side of the wing this is four and three quarters by three and a quarter okay so it started out as five by three and a half and all I did was take a quarter of an inch off so it's four and three quarters by three and three quarters and then this little piece that juts out over here is four and three quarters by two and a quarter and that will go right there and those will be the same sizes for all of the panels that go on the wings so we'll go ahead and just glue these down And then it's just getting them down straight. So we'll go ahead and put both of them down. OK, 
Okay, so now what we're going to have is we're going to put down our die cut, and I cut this with the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And so this is just going to go right in the middle, and this again is out of that same designer series paper. We're using that same paper throughout the entire card. Then I have stamped my sentiment and cut it out, and I'm going to mount this on a piece of Just Jade cardstock. And I just centered that on there. And you will notice I am not using any dimensionals. I'm also not using any ribbon. I'm not using any rhinestones. Um, I'm not using anything that will add additional bulk to the card. Okay, so now we'll go. So now we're going to put on our wonderful snowflake. These are in the holiday catalog. Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? So I'm just going to put a little bit on the ends so that as it opens and closes, um, I'm not going to have to worry about the ends of this popping up. Find a place to put my thumb. <laughs> Keep it out of the glue. You know me, I'll get my hands right in it. Okay, so then we're just going to put our snowflake on here, just like that. Just tap those ends down, and then we're going to do our polar bear. Put him down. Just put him at a jaunty little angle. Now you could, if you wanted, you could put Winkastella on him, but I did not. I just left him plain. Okay, so our first panel is done. So we're going to move on to our next panel. And for this one, this will be our paper that we'll put over to the side. And again, you just want to make sure it's on there straight. And then we have our other piece of designer series paper. Okay. Then we have... Um, Um, okay, so we have our piece of Balmy Blue, and then this is the one that I have previously stamped, and on this one I used the trees from the Peaceful Deer. I thought these trees were just perfect for this, and so that's where I got the trees. So we'll go ahead and we'll put these together, and again, I'm just going to put them all flat. So I'm not adding any dimensionals to this because I think it would make it too bulky. So we'll just put that down. Okay. And then we'll mount this. Pretty cute, don't you think? My gosh, can you imagine how exciting it would be to get this card? It's just so cute. And we'll put our fox down. And we'll just put him right there. And you could put Winkastella on them if you wanted to, but I did not put Winkastella on anything. Okay, so we're ready to go to our third panel. Okie doke.
one of the things that's really nice about this is I don't think I've ever made a card where I've used so much out of a designer series paper. I mean, this just uses so many pieces and by fussy cutting out the designs and <clears throat> this type of a card just really helps you utilize your designer series paper. I really do hope you will give this a try. Okay, so now these two I also cut out of the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Great that they have such different shapes, so I was able to get a completely different look by using the same die set. Because as it is, I think I used four stamp sets in order to get the sentiments that I wanted. Okay, and I think the dies are giving a really great backdrop to all of these fussy cut or punched out images. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this on. Just like that. Okay, so now we have our little penguins. boy and our little girl. Have them hold hands. How cute are they? Oh my gosh. So bloomin' cute. Okay. So now we have our scarf for our little girl. hope you're enjoying my video. If you're new to my channel, to my YouTube channel, I hope you will hit the thumbs up and like the video and I hope you will subscribe. I just love it when everyone subscribes and just it's so nice to have new people come. I also look forward to positive comments. I always love to read your comments and I do reply to all of them. And if you'll take the time also, you can go out to my blog post and subscribe there too. And then you will know, it will let you know every time I make a new blog post and it will, you can go ahead and um, you'll be notified. I'll send you an email that they all come. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell, we'll do the same thing. You'll get a notification every time I do a new video. If you currently do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. You can just get in touch with me. You can go out if you want to place an order. You can go out to my store at KathleenStamps.com shop and you'll be able to find all the items that I used for this card. And there's also links right below the video to all those items also. Hopefully we're just going to give you all the information that you need. Okay, we're almost done. Get this last little, get the hats on. Just put it off on this little jaunty angle over to the side. One last hat. Can you imagine a child getting this card? How excited they would be. Just keep spinning it around. Such a cute, cute card. And finally, we'll put on our Let's Celebrate die cut. Make sure that's on straight. 
cute, cute. Okay, we're to our final panel. Go ahead and we'll put this guy on. And then our designer series paper. Okay, and then we have our Just Jade, and I have our Merry Christmas sentiment. And this is where you would write your greeting to your recipient. So you have lots of space to write your little Christmas greeting to them. And then we'll mount this. And then we'll put on our last little penguin. And we're just going to put him right down here in the corner. Okay, and our card is done. How fun is that? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me show you. Here it is in the blue. This one is in the um, Misty Moonlight, and then this one is in the Just Jade, so that you can see that I've done everything the same, just the little bit different colors for the cardstock. Okay. And finally, our Merry Christmas side. And then, just to show you, I did this one um, for a birthday card. And so you, whoops, goes this way. So you have your happy birthday where you can write your little your little greeting. And then I just used all of these little elements all the way around. So this is the one that will fit in the four and a quarter by five and a half, and these will fit in your five by seven. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this will encourage you to go out and make your own pinwheel tower card. So have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.